Go. Go. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just gonna be showing you a quick um, video on how to get your parking sensors back working when they're not working now. When these go bad, and we mostly have them in the UK, I know some people in the US don't have them, I don't know if they're fitted to cars in the US, but I do know they're fitted to all the cars here in the UK, as standard on all the M Sports and quite a few on the SE, and this goes for E46, E39, it actually works on any car. E39 suffers with the same problem, the E60 has, they use the same sensors, they've never changed the design, and it goes for all models up from there. Even E53 as well, this is a common problem, obviously all the cars suffer with the parking sensors failing, and I'm just trying to get my point across as to why they fail. So why they fail is due to people spraying them with a jet wash and just you know, leaving them and water getting into electronics. Now, you guys know I've already sealed mine, but one of them's still playing up. I don't think it's sealed properly. I knew that when I did it in the first place. So I'm gonna show you how you stop the errors on these, how to stop them and make them work. Again, without having to replace them. Now, a lot of people get confused with this. I mean, you have to replace the parking sensors the moment they go bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that I've got the fault on my car. And I'm gonna show you this today as well, what it's showing. Now it is showing the front left one is at fault. <clears throat> now, I'm going to show you how to eliminate the fault immediately just by doing a very small minor repair to the car which completely eliminates the fault of um, the parking sensor and your parking sensor has come back fully functional. Now it does happen sometimes they get a lot of dirt and ingress inside them so it just needs to be cleaned and I'm going to show you how you do that without even removing the parking sensor and how you get them back working and fully functional on all the sensors to make all your sensors work again. So let's go out to the car and I'm gonna show you on this today, the fault of the front left one. So here, as you'll see here guys, now I don't know if you can see correctly because it is quite dark here, but I've got right here, the PDC button flashing. And then they decide to come back on and come fully functional again, as you'll see there. But they are messing about a bit. It was just flashing as you guys just saw, but the PDC keeps going down. So I'm gonna show you how to make them work when they don't wanna work. Now, I don't know why they've just started working again, but they weren't working, who knows? But I'm just gonna show you the tip and trick I use to make them work when they don't work anyway. So as you'll see right there, guys, you can see there's a PDC fault right there. Now, I haven't been lying, it did give it and all of a sudden it worked, which, you know, they do that. So as you'll see, as I've shown you, it does have a fault in the PDC module which is there and I'll load it up and it should come up as front left. And I know that because, you know, it come up once before. Now, as you can see the IHK, we know that's always there. But there you go, ultrasonic sensor front left. So now the fault's non-existent. So let's just press on the PDC button. And as you'll see, it seems to be operating again, but they're quite flickery, which they shouldn't be because as you can see, there's nothing behind me to be flickering so i'm now going to show you what to do to get rid of that fault so as you can see here guys <clears throat> we've now got my car in and so as you've just seen the fault is on the front left side so the front left side will be the passenger side which is down here so it could either be this one or it could be this one it could be any now they don't always give the fault code for middle and this and that front left middle and what so on so on so what we have to do is sort them all at the front now we've noticed the front one playing up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sort the front ones out and i'm going to show you the trick you're going to you need to do and how to get them fully functioning again properly and there's a special way you can get them fully functioning and it's just a little fluid that you spray and clean and you're going to see that parking sensors will be fully active after i do this and i'm going to do it to the rear as well just so we can get them all fully functioning okay guys so as you can see this is the parking sensors right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to use WD-40. Now, as you can see, this stops squeaks, drives out moisture, and also cleans and protects. So that's the exact problem that this has got. It's got moisture inside it. So what we've got to do is spray a bit of WD-40 there, and then just rub it off. Now, you can use the little nozzle this comes with as well. So we're going to do the same thing for this one, which is right there. And we're just going to rub that one down as well like that. So... Now we've got that one cleaned. And now we're gonna do the same for all the others as well, which is right here. And we're just gonna keep doing that all along and we're gonna work our way to the rear as well. And we're gonna do all the rears as well. Now, that what this does is it soaks in 
I did a sensor, it's the same as water. And it will dry out all the moisture. So then that way, you can then have fully functioning Parkinson's. Now a lot of people aren't aware of this, or how to do this, but this is a good way to save your parking sensors and to get them working. And this works for, as I say, all cars, not just these 60. So you can easily get the moisture out of the parking sensors. So now that's done, let's go to the rear. So guys, now we're at the rear. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray all the rear ones as well. As you'll see here, we're just gonna spray every single one on the rear and clear the rear ones. So let's do that. And then we're gonna go to the front and I'm gonna show you how they're all gonna be working perfectly after. So as you'll see again with the rear, you spray it in there and then you're just going to want to clear it out and make sure it gets all in the sensor itself because you want to dry out all the moisture so you want to spray as much as possible in there and then just clean it all off like that and the same for this one right here spray again and just make sure you clear it all out and make sure it gets into them cut all the moisture now in the time I've owned BMs, I have never had to change parking sensors because as long as you do this, it dries out the moisture. They only act like this when they get water inside them. Just remember that. You can't always seal them. As I told you, put the silicone in around them in the inside when you take them out. It works. But you can't prevent every bit of water getting inside them. They get through in little cracks here. And that's why you need to use that to clear out the moisture. This does dry out and it does work. Like I say, it's WD-40. You know, it works wonders and you've seen me spray it on. Like I said, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is how you get them working. You know, you just put, get the spray bottle and just spray it like that. And it does clear them, in which I'm gonna show you, like I said, when we go back to the car. Okay guys, so as you'll see, the button is now stable green. I'm away from every object. The sensors ain't acting up. As you'll see right there, they're just sitting there steady. There's no more triangle. No more fault for the parking sensors at all. The light is just sitting perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to back up to an object and we're going to check they work. So now I'm going to back up to my house and we're going to check them and I'm going to go frontwards and we're just going to check them and I'm going to show you how they're all working perfectly now. So let's go and back up. So as you'll see right there, guys, it's already showing my distance. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back a bit more. And as you see, they're working perfectly. Showing perfectly. Now that's going back, as you can hear them beeping. Now I'm gonna go forward. And as you can see, the distance is coming away nicely. As you'll see right there, it's crawling away nicely. So as you can see, the back ones are working absolutely perfectly since that. So now what we're gonna do is go to the... So as you can see there, the front ones are coming closer and closer and closer, as you'll see, on the dash. And as you see there, it's all beeping off at the front. Now if you come back, the distance started disappearing. Now the reason the other one ain't going off is because I'm nowhere near any objects on the other side, which is the left side, but as you see there, it backs off nicely and it comes up right away. They're working absolutely beautifully, mm. the sensors. So guys, this is not a temporary fix as you've just seen. The sensors weren't working like that before. They were showing that I was too near an object when I wasn't. And now they're working properly in the whole distance. So you can see the full distance properly. So guys, I think that's the job done. And guys, I just wanted to let you know, this is not a temporary fix, this is a permanent fix. As you see right there, they're still working, not beeping off. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the button off. And as you see, the PDC is now off. And now I'm gonna put it back on. And I'm gonna turn it off again. Then back on. And the PDC is still working. As you see right there. Now we're gonna turn the engine off, which I'm gonna do right now. And we're going to take the key out and shut off the electronics. And then what we're going to do is we're going to restart the car again. As you see right there, we've started the car up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to activate the PDC again. And as you see, they're still working. No faults at all. So guys, PDC sensors, fixed so guys as you've just seen there i've just shown you how to fix the parking sensors on your e60 e63 e53 e39 and any other cars that have the parking sensors as you guys know all e series use the same parking sensor there's no different but i've just shown you and this can relate to all the f series as well you can fix every parking sensor this way you do not 
and I mean you do not have to go and buy a new parking sensor. As you just seen, my parking sensor is now working perfectly. The park distance crawl is working when you come in properly and it guides you in. The whole way it's meant to work, not just beep off and be flickering all over the place. That's the way you get them repaired. A lot of garages won't tell you that, a lot of dealers won't tell you that because they wouldn't just spend money and have to buy new parking sensors. You do not have to do that. Follow my guide to fixing them like that. Trust me, your parking sensors will work. And another thing to do is if you've got PDC fault codes and you can't clear them, unplug your parking sensor module and then plug it back in. It clears all fault codes on the modules. But there you go, guys. I've just shown you how to fix your parking sensors. Thank you very much for watching this. BMW Dr. Dean here, and goodbye.